probably already have a recipe for a super sweet sweet potato dish for the holidays. So here's a recipe for something savory. What makes these sweet potatoes so savory is a horseradish based compound butter. You wanna make sure to use fresh horseradish. Fresh horseradish has the most potent flavor. The stuff in the jar, it's already pretty old. It's gonna be very mild compared to this stuff. I'm gonna do a little shortcut to make this compound butter. Usually when you make a compound butter, you take all your ingredients, you put it in a bowl, you mash it up, and then you wrap it in plastic. I am gonna circumvent the bowl and just put everything right into this plastic bag. In this case, I have horseradish, I have chopped herbs, some lemon zest, some pepper, some breadcrumbs, which help keep the compound butter shape when you slice it. I also have a little bit of salt. And now the fun part. You just kind of massage it all together in the bag all at once. Do you see how there's some white spots here? That's butter that does not have any of the flavorings mixed in. So if you see those, squash them. The beauty of a compound butter is that you can make it months ahead and put it in the freezer. You could make it days ahead, it'll be on hand in your fridge, or you can even just make it about four hours ahead. To set the record straight, sweet potatoes and yams are not from the same family. They don't even share a distant third cousin. They are two separate creatures and they are not interchangeable in recipes. A sweet potato has a tapered elongated shape, anywhere from a pale golden color to a deep orange and it tends to be very sweet. A yam is rounder. It kind of looks like a chunk of a tree. It has white or purple flesh, and it is not very sweet. For the sweet potatoes, you wanna roast them until they're very soft, and then I put the compound butter on top, and then I bake them again, and this softens the compound butter, it melts it, and at the very last minute, I just broil the whole thing to get it a little bit golden. What I love about this dish is how adaptable it is. You can use white potatoes instead of sweet potatoes. You can substitute other aromatics for the horseradish, maybe some fresh garlic or ginger. This is the kind of dish that you can really make your own.